Lawmakers in Albany, New York are trying to change the legal standard for sex crimes. The move comes after a discharged media mogul had his rape conviction case in New York overturned. Tonight, our New York Capitol correspondent, Elise Klein, has more. Before the end of this year's legislative session, lawmakers are hoping to revise a legal standard that allowed Harvey Weinstein's rape conviction to be overturned by the state's highest court. There are two bills trying to achieve this goal in different ways. One bill sponsored by Democrats would allow for prior sexual offenses to be admissible in court for sex crime cases. Uh, many of us believe that victims of sexual offenses um, deserve to have their stories told uh, and are relevant to a case against someone who has a history, allegedly, of uh, that type of behavior. Another bill sponsored by Republicans would codify a legal standard that would allow for prior sexual offenses to be admissible, but only in certain circumstances. Some Republicans say the Democrats' bill is too flexible for the legal standard and could be unfair towards defendants. But they say they would still support it. This is actually a little more expansive than my bill, and that we would have to amend it to clean it up to make sure that it complies with the Constitution. Um, but, uh, you know, I'd, I'd be open to either one of them. Senator Giannaris argues his bill is a more comprehensive approach to closing what he calls a gap in the state's law. His would do nothing other than uh, codify the confusing state of the law that led to this decision in the first place. The Democrats' bill passed earlier this week in the Senate with support from many Republican members. Some legal experts say this bill, if it becomes law, would be a win for sexual assault survivors. It absolutely will allow us to have more effective prosecutions and more comprehensive prosecutions. The jury can get the full context of the defendant's behavior. In Albany, Elise Klein, Erie News Now.